everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. I'm Pam. And I'm Ricky. And today we're doing a fall charcuterie board. Yay! So we thought this would be fitting for the holidays since, mm -hmm. you know, we're going to bring our fall series to a close. This will be the last video for our fall series. Mm -hmm. And we'll start our holiday uh, series next. Yeah. So. But this is kind of, this is kind of kick off the holiday. Right. It's kind of both. Well. You know, because mm -hmm. you can, you know, use this for entertainment purposes for your holiday parties or whatever you're going to be doing to celebrate this year. Yes. So this is exciting. This is our first time doing this. So um, we thought it'd be cool because um, these boards are, look, I say these boards, y'all, because I have a hard time saying Shark. 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 <laughs> Charcuterie. Charcuterie. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I have a hard time with that. So anyway, the board, what, uh, what I'm trying to say is, that I'm excited because it's so much variety mm -hmm. that um, when you're having lots of guest owners, some people are picky, they may not like certain things, and if you only have a few things for people to choose from, then they may not, you know, get what they what they want. So yes, and you can pick what you like as well. You could do one as big as for like a wedding even, or you can do one like a personal size. So mm -hmm. That's what's so fun about these boards. You can pick and choose what you like and what your guests like. Right, and they have uh, movie boards. I'm mm -hmm. seeing like popcorn and different things that you can have yeah, at, and stuff like that. for sleepovers, yeah. for kids and stuff. It's just endless possibilities. Right. So, so we just wanted to show you guys a few of the things that we got. Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm sure you guys enjoyed the little clips that we got at the store. Mm -hmm. So and we're not sure what we're going to use, if we're going to even use everything. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to have some variety just to um, kick this off. So we'll see yes. how much we'll use. So. so thanks for joining us, guys. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all, so here's what we picked up from the shopping that we did. We picked up a variety of seeds and nuts and jams, um, lots of cheeses and meats. And we went to Aldi, Publix, as well as Cost Plus, Cost Plus World Market. Yeah, we wanted to make sure we had enough options because we didn't know exactly what we wanted to come up with as far as the boards go. So we just wanted to make sure we had enough options to choose from. Right, um, with all the things that we like. Right. <laughs> And Aldi had the most to um, choose from. So most of the stuff you're seeing is from Aldi. They had a great mm -hmm. selection for charcuterie boards. Yeah, they actually have a section for that. That's great. Mm -hmm. This bread was so good, y'all. Yes, yeah, so it was fresh. Very fresh, yeah. <laughs> and we got some mini pumpkins for decorations. You saw us pick those up for, from um, Publix. And um, the Publix Deli had great selections as well. So that's another, another place that you can try if you would like to make your own charcuterie board mm -hmm. you saw all those meats that they had there so yes countless options so many different uh, meats and cheeses i just i love all the, the stores that we chose i think they had uh, great selections of everything it's actually too much to choose from right <laughs> cost plus market is where we got the little bottle of syrup from it was just too cute so to cute. not get <laughs> But, um, so we did, the first board we did had a giant, not giant, it wasn't, it wasn't huge, guys. <laughs> Y'all saw it. Right. <laughs> Enough for like a little small gathering or party or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, I had a pepperoni rose. And you can use, you can make it out of salami as long as it's, you know, brown meat, I guess. And pliable. Yes. So you can squeeze the edges. Right. Yeah. You kind of have to doable. stick it to, uh, together around yeah, the glass. Yeah, you got to pinch it to make sure you get the effect. That's it. Um, <laughs> so we did pepperoni, like I mentioned. And you want to make sure you're layering and you're overlapping your pepperoni. Mm -hmm. And that. you just repeat that all around the glass. We used a wine glass. And um, you can do it until that hole is completely gone, or you can do what we did, which was just until it was kind of small, and then we added like a small piece of pepperoni mm -hmm. in the middle once we flipped it over to close up that hole. Right, because you want it to look um, a, a pair of uh, blooming rolls. Yes. Which is so pretty. So once you flip it over, just kind of move it move the glass so it'll move freely because you don't want your rose to just kind of come apart and then there's this we added the little piece of pepperoni to kind of close it up yes and a friend of ours annie shout out to annie she helped Thank tremendously you, annie. she was so helpful yes she this is her everything. idea for the um sage to do this is some fresh sage 
that is going to play its little leaves mm-hmm. for our road. It was mm-hmm. a great idea. Yeah, she did a great idea. Uh, great job. Yes, yeah, she okay. did. Ideas. Very helpful. Mm-hmm. So we're just going to, you know, start uh, assembling our board, I guess. And then we'll come back to tell you about the mishap. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know we have those sometimes. Right. <laughs> Okay, so this is said mishap. Um, we decided, not really a mishap, but just a change of plans. We decided we wanted to do kind of like a a, rib, a ribbon effect mm-hmm. for the um, hot cappy in the corner. That's the ham that we got from Publix. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah, instead of laying it flat. Yes, because yeah. we had an idea to do kind of like a, a border kind of, but it wasn't giving what it needed to give. <laughs> So we decided to just like that too much. Let's just do it this way. Yeah, we decided to just you know kind of spice it up a little bit. I see. That's the good thing about these boards. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be your board. If you do one of these, you can do what you want. Right. How you want. So that's a great thing. Yes. I love about that. And you can change it up. And working with more more than one head, you get oh my more gosh. great ideas. Yes, there was three of us, so we, you know, we're able to say, no, let's not do it like that. Let's do this. So it was great. Yes. And of course, we all have very clean hands. Yes. <laughs> so, so you know, bad. so you're gonna eat the stuff, so right. And then, as you can see, we have the pickles with the uh, two picks at first, and then we didn't like that, so we switched it up. Mm-hmm. So, and those pickles are really good. They're uh-huh. kind of I would describe them as sweet and tangy. Mm-hmm. Perfect um, description. Yes, uh, that's the Manchego cheese. We also had the uh, hot cappy, uh, I think it's ham. Um, those wafer crackers that I love so much, I seem to be the only one rocking with the crackers. Yet. <laughs> she was rocking with them. <laughs> <laughs> They're okay, a little bit light on the, on the light side for me, but yeah, I love a hearty cracker. Mm-hmm. So, all oh, those mozzarella balls, oh my goodness. I had never had those. They were absolutely delicious. They were. Mm-hmm. They're um, they have a slight, just a tinge of spice to them. It's like, is mm-hmm. that spicy? Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and the herbs were really good that mm-hmm. they were uh, marinated in. Yeah, just good. My first time having those guys. So if you have a board, try to put those on there. Yeah, they're really good. And we have the salami, a couple different crackers, like we mentioned. Um, some dried figs. We're gonna put some dried cranberries on there. Great, great board. Those breadsticks that are really good. So, if you guys have any other questions about, you know, what's on this board, you can leave them down in the comments, and we'll answer your question for you. Mm-hmm. Right. We'll be back to talk about the next board. So. Oh wait, before we go, Ricky, mm-hmm. those are we have to tell them about the. Um, I keep wanting to say dates. Oh, they're figs. not dates. They're figs. They're they dried keep calling figs. Them dates. Yeah, the dry figs were good too. I, I don't really like figs all that much, mm-hmm. but they were good. Mm-hmm. Surprisingly, I don't think I tried one of those. Yeah, tied everything, tied the flavors together. The sweet and savory, it just all went together. So okay, I just wanted to mention those because you know, in case yeah. they were wondering what they. Sorry, were. figs. I forgot about y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so again, we'll be back.
Okay, so we're starting on our next board. So on this next board, we're gonna have some of this delicious bread. So you mm -hmm. can see Annie cutting up some bread here for us. We cut some up and then we baked it in the oven. So it'd be crispy. It was so good. Man, this bread was good. It was actually par-baked, is mm -hmm. that what it's called? It's a little bit baked and you could just finish it off in the oven mm -hmm. or not. We chose to finish it off as right. the directions say, but mm -hmm. of course. Either way, we would have been fine, I think. And just in case y'all missed it, this bread was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> this salmon was so good. I like because it, it looks like it's raw, but it's cooked, it's smoked. Mm -hmm. And I had never had smoked salmon, but I will be having it again. <laughs> I tell you that, That's it's really good. And so, this is the brie cheese. Explain yes. to them about this, Ricky. So this is um, brie cheese, like she just mentioned, and we did a cutout. Uh, we have a little pumpkin cookie cutter. Um, you can use whatever shape you'd like. Mm -hmm. We wanted a leaf, but the pumpkin one fit the cheese the best. You didn't want it to be too close to the edge because you didn't want it to break. But we got this idea from the Crafty Gal on YouTube. Thanks, Crafty Gal. Yes, we'll link, <laughs> we'll link her channel in the description. But um, she filled hers, the whole, with um, honey because Brie goes well with honey. But she did mention that if you do that, you want to make sure you put something under it to keep it from leaking. Mm -hmm. So to make our lives a little bit easier, because we did have a lot going on that day, we just filled it with some dried cranberries because we wanted to have a contrast. You know, right. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it look so cool. So there I am added in the dried cranberries. And this board also had um, crackers, different kinds of crackers from that six cracker assortment box we had. Um, that cheese in the foil, the bottom right, was delicious. It's oh my goodness. It was garlic so and creamy. fine herb. Yes. Garlic mm -hmm. and fine herb cheese. Delicious. And there's some smoked gouda, gouda that Annie's cutting up at the top. Yeah, that was a, a cute idea too. Mm -hmm. Little triangles. Yes. Don't forget to save your pumpkin. As you can see, it made its appearance in the top left corner. Right. Um, the little herbs. So right, <laughs> they're still usable, so you gotta make sure you keep it as a cute little addition, mm -hmm. very fall ish for your right. fall charcuterie board. So, and we had um, a peach, what is it, peach bellini? Or yes, peach bellini, bellini, peach bellini, and orange mimosa jams, mm -hmm. and that's also fig jam and honey. It was there was some honey on the last board too, I don't think I mentioned it, but um, mm -hmm. that's some local raw honey, it's delicious. We have several different kinds of jams that we could have used. Mm -hmm. So anything will work. Whatever you like on your board, of course, is fine. Right. And we can use, you know, different kinds of fruit, fruit if you like. Mm -hmm. We actually have some mandarin oranges, but they didn't make the board. Yeah, they did. <laughs> we kind of forgot to put them on there, but it's okay. Yeah. And so as you see the little utensils, we got those from World Cost, Cost, what is it? Cost, Cost Plus, Plus World Market. Market. <laughs> uh, and we got those from that store. Yes. And um, they have so many cute things for this board. We also got those little spoons you see from Bed Bath & Beyond as well. Oh, I forgot about them. That's right, I did. Yes. So here's some more baked bread. This is the last board we did. As you can see, the boards kind of went from a whole lot going on to more simplistic. Yes. So, so um, you guys have a, um, a different idea. Yes, three yeah. different ways you could do your uh, boards. Mm -hmm. So that's the remainder of the bread we had, some more um, summer sausage and salami. And we put those cute little spoons in the jars of um, jams we had. And the fresh herbs. Yes, mm -hmm. for decoration. I mean, if you want to throw down on them, you can, obviously. But <laughs> they were more for decoration for us. And this board, Annie actually let us borrow it. It came with little utensils for your cheese board. Yes, yeah, actually. Um we're bored for that yes <laughs> so, so that was the last board and this is how they all turned out yeah I'm really happy with how they turned out mm -hmm. look at the pepperoni rolls it's so pretty and just the different colors guys the different flavors flavor palettes that you're able to just indulge in with these boards is just endless mm -hmm. so whatever you want to do it's up to you of course so yes. I just kind of want to give you guys an idea and these are obviously big for like you know a lot of guests like I mentioned in the clip before mm -hmm. you can make these whatever size you want to make them as we did and for whatever occasion that you like. yes the holidays are coming so it's a good time to try them out mm -hmm. so if you guys enjoyed this video 
Let us know if you have any questions or anything, leave them down in the comment section below. Let us know any holiday recipes that you might want to see because we are kicking that off soon. That's right. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And click your notification bell so you know when we post our next video. And we appreciate you joining us, guys. We do. Thank we you appreciate so your support. All right, y'all. Peace out. Bye.